season is officially over. 2009 Speed Week's underway at the Daytona International Speedway. Glad you're with us for the Budweiser Shootout Selection Show. Steve Burns and Kenny Wallace. Kenny, glad everybody is here with us. It's chilly here. It, it is so cold. What's in the 30s and we have standing room only. Thank you fans for being out here. And thank all of you watching at home. A little difference to the format this year, Kenny Wallace, because in years past, this race has been about the pole sitters from the previous year or former champions. This year, Kenny, the top six drivers from all four of the manufacturers, Dodge, Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford, plus one wild card entry. It all means 28 drivers, the biggest field for the Budweiser shootout. 28 drivers, this is out of hand. This is gonna be the greatest finish and the biggest wreck ever in the Budweiser shootout. <laughs> wow, this is crazy. 28 cars, did you say that? The first then known as Bush Clash was won in 1979 by me, Buddy Baker. Oh, he's, that's out. You're on time right now. Let's take a look at the rules for this 31st running of the Budweiser shootout. Two segments. The first segment's a little bit longer, Kenny. 25 laps, then a 10-minute intermission, and then the dash for cash. Guaranteed 200 grand to the winner. 50 laps. They're going to have to have those cars handled. They're going to be sliding around. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is the defending champion of the Budweiser shootout. We are going to send you to the bar. I, I like going to the bar. Don't That's where I'm going. a boy. Meanwhile, let's meet the Chevy drivers for the 2009 Budweiser shootout. Hey, they look really nice with that lady carrying the flag. The next contingent, the Ford drivers. Up next, the drivers representing Toyota. And the seven drivers representing Dodge. And the first driver to draw for his starting spot, Chevrolet driver, Jimmy Johnson. Okay, Jimmy Johnson, come on up here and draw your bottle, my friend. Now listen. A handful of years ago, you were riding on top of a golf cart, broke your wrist. This year, you've cut your finger. Yes. Is that it, or, or are we done, or what? I would show it to you, but you might think I'm flipping you off, so. Um, but yeah, um, cut my finger trying to modify my suit for the Rolex 24 last week. And uh, heal, healing up well, but it's still kind of swollen and looks nasty, but it, I'll get through it. A couple, a couple Budweiser's and I'll be fine. Now you're talking, and by the way, it is his middle finger. Okay, pick a bottle and go down to Steve Burns. Which one? Nah, nah. Nah, nah. Well, he's looking this way. Which way? <laughs> he don't have a clue. <laughs> They're talking like a. Do you got to go down there? Steve Burns. All right, Jimmy Johnson. A lot of these races have been won from outside a top ten starting position, but you want to be up front. Let's see what you got. The Budweiser ambassador is going to help. First guy. It's always tough. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Not so good. <laughs> but I just said over half these races have been won from outside the top 10. Very true, and Jamie's so inspirational back here. He said, that sucks, so um, thank you, buddy. 
We'll be fine, though. It's a, it's a great race, and I can't thank Budweiser enough for their support, and um, we'll get out there and have some fun. All right, thank you very much, Jimmy Johnson. The next driver to draw from the Ford camp, Carl Edwards. Okay, Carl Edwards, big off season. You made a run at the championship, but you got married. You went overseas. It was a big winner. Yeah, I had a good time. Uh, the marriage was uh, it was wild. It was really cool. I'm glad I did it. Uh, I'm ready to go racing. It's been you know we haven't been in the race car for a while. So um, hope I get a better spot than Jimmy. Okay, well get yourself a nice cold frosty Budweiser beer and take it down to Steve Burns. Oh, he picks the one on the very end here. There's some strategy being played up here. All right, Carl, while she helps you open the bottle, this is your third appearance in the shootout. Do you enjoy this race? Yeah, it's fun. It's a great way to start the season. I mean, there's no points on the line, and um, we'll just go uh, hopefully end up, you know, with a running car at the end of this thing. All right, let's see what you got. Hey, all right. That's not bad. That's not bad. 11. We'll see what we can do with that. Uh, outside the top 10, you said, was a good spot, so that's close. All right, thanks a lot, Carl. We'll be back with more of the Budweiser Shootout Selection Show from the Daytona International Speedway. Stay with us here on Speed. The Budweiser Shootout Selection Show is presented by Budweiser. Reach for the perfect balance of flavor and refreshment. The great American lager. And by Old Spice Swagger. The scent that makes a difference. You're watching the Budweiser Selection Show presented by Budweiser. Our third driver to draw is from the Toyota camp. It's Denny Hamlin. Okay, Denny. Your very first Budweiser shootout, you win it. It had to give you a lot of confidence. I mean, you look at your stats, two starts and, and one win already. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. It's, uh, it's a heck of a lot more cars this year, though, that uh, has been in years past. So, But I'm going to go with your choice because I know you got good karma. So we'll see how it works. Oh, God. He, he said, what would you choose, Steve Burns? I said, I'd choose that bottle. Oh, I'm nervous now. <laughs> Pressure's on Kenny Wallace. Please be good. Here we go. Drum roll. <laughs> Ooh, nice draw for Denny Hamlin. Oh, thank you. You can That's give funny. me the money. And now, and now Kyle Busch owes me money. <laughs> Five. <laughs> All right, next up, the first driver out of the Dodge camp is Casey Kane. Feel the power. Feel the power. Okay, Casey, this is your race. It's your sponsor. <laughs> yes, it is. It's, uh, I've never ran that well in the race, but I definitely would like to. It's good to be back to Daytona and uh, start off with Budweiser shootout, no points. Just kind of go for it. It should be fun. And you also got Joey Saldana out at the dirt track, running the Budweiser sprint car, pick your bot. Oh, he's going down here. Go down to Steve Burns. This, we should have the sound of a shark right now, like, da da Donna. You're, you're doing it just fine, <laughs> Kenny. You have to. All right, let's see what Casey Kane draws. 14. Oh. Tony Stewart's number. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that'll work. What, what do you think about this race? Is, it, is there any strategy to just get out and let it run? Well, I think it's, uh, it's a good good time to learn a little bit about your cars and, and kind of how your engine runs and things compared to the other cars. And other than that, just have fun. Uh, you know, obviously try to win and, and uh, work with the guys, see what happens. All right, good luck to you, Casey Kane. Kevin Harvick now, the second drive right of the Chevrolet camp.
All right, Kevin, me and you are friends. We run our dirt cars together. But what I'm reading is that Childress went off hunting, but he's put all this pressure on you guys. He says, we've got to win a championship this year. I mean, what's that all about? Is that, is that pressure or what? I don't know. I quit reading everything that they write about in the media. So I just, I hadn't, I hadn't read that. So I guess that's news to me. But, you know, I mean, we're, um, we've been really close uh, over the past couple of years. The cars have, have run really well. We just got to put that whole season together. All right, man. So what are you going to do here? Which one? That one. Yeah, go, go in front of our three million fans. Give it to Kelly. Kevin, I'm curious, as she pulls out your flag there, with no <laughs> testing, is a Budweiser shootout even more helpful or more important to the 500? I think it's a good way to get your week started off. I know everybody's looking forward to getting back in the car. I know I am. Uh, I'm looking forward to just having a good time and, and having fun with the race and hopefully uh, doing something good. Let's see where you start. <laughs> you didn't have me pick it for you, see? 27. What does that number mean? Worse. So we only have one way to go, right? Oh, only one way to go. Oh, no. That was my old number, Bobby Levani, but it was a bad one. <laughs> All right, we'll take a break here from the Daytona International Speedway. When we come back, Craig Bipple, Joey Logano, and David Scrimmy, among others, make their selection for the Budweiser Shootout. You're watching the Budweiser Shootout Selection Show presented by Budweiser from the Daytona International Speedway. We're finding out where the drivers will start Saturday night. Next up, Ford driver Greg Biffle. Okay, Biff, you know, on Speed TV, John Roberts, he nicknamed you the Biff. And when he nicknamed you the Biff, he stuck with you and you rattled off two in a row last year. Uh, do you like that nickname or what do you think about it? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a good nickname. I just wish he'd start the beginning of the season like that. So maybe I could win a couple before the chase starts. Well, you about, you about pulled it off. You won two in the shootout at the end. So what are we doing here? I, I seen you and Jamie strategizing. He's pointing down this way. Down that way. That, that's probably uh, one of the ones up front, but this is probably dead last right here. Yeah. I'm going to do this one. Okay, go on down to Steve Burns. Give it to Kelly. Greg, three starts here in the shootout for you. A best finish of fifth. Let's see where you start. Uh. You were almost right. Yeah, I got McMurray's number. That's bad. Uh, I don't know. if I think that's bad luck. Oh. It? He told me one over. So. He just trashed you, Jamie. At least I'll, I'm going to start back there uh, in the back. Like Kevin said, only one way to go. Feels like that's about what this is, 26 degrees out here. Huh? <laughs> it is. But the good news is it's going to warm up this weekend. Right. Now, now, Harvick said there's only one way to go, and you can go with him. Yeah, well, I, I could actually go back one row further than this. So. <laughs> Uh, one road, one way for him, but uh, hopefully we'll be going toward the front. All right, good luck. Our second Toyota driver tonight is Joey Logano. Okay, so this is a big story. Joey Logano still has peach fuzz. He's so young. So you're not allowed to drink, Joey. So we got Zippy, your crew chief, to draw for you. But hey, listen, you know, you're, you're getting a lot. <laughs> what? The, the crowd loved you. Okay, so listen, there, this, is a, this is a big deal, man. Your first shootout, what's it feel like? Oh, this is going to be awesome. It's going to be a great experience for me to learn a lot and uh, earn some respect from the old veterans here and uh, see if I can get some uh, help for sort of 500 and stuff. So, uh, I don't know. i got a great coochie behind me here, and uh, hopefully John's been a good number. Okay, before Zippy draws the number, how many Joey Logano fans? <laughs> hey, Jeff Gordon started out just like that, except they were booze, and now they all cheer for him. Go, go to Jeff. All right, draw Zippy. Let's see what we're going to do here. Pick you a nice cold Budweiser beer out. And both of you go down to Steve Burns and you get that, give it to that beautiful lady, Kelly. Joey, you can have a beer in two years, buddy. 
We'll keep it for you for a while. Greg, you've been a lot of these races with Tony Stewart. I, I would imagine this race is important for you guys to help develop that communication. Absolutely, especially since we didn't uh, we didn't have winter testing down here. It's uh, our first opportunity to work together, um, you know, at a speedway. So uh, it, it'll obviously be a, a big help for us. All right, let's see where you guys will start. Nineteenth. Start nineteenth, right? <laughs> That's right. The, the matter of fact, the farthest back this race has ever been won, 19th. Dale Earnhardt Jr. did that. Uh-oh, <laughs> they can't be that all bad, then. That's right. Well, best of luck to you guys. We'll be back with more of the Budweiser Shootout Selection Show. Meanwhile, we want to remind you about the duel in Daytona, February 12th. The most exciting qualifying event in NASCAR is only on speed, February 12th at 2 Eastern. NASCAR on speed, be there. Glad you're back with us at the World Center of Racing, the Daytona International Speedway. Speed Weeks 2009 finally underway. Our eighth driver to select is Dodge driver David Stremme. David Strummy, Roger Penske said he picked you to drive his race car because you did so much testing and they loved your ability to feel the car out. I mean, it's got, it's got to be an honor, at least Roger, picking you to drive his car. It is, um, but we need to put up numbers now. That's, that's why he hired me. So um, looking forward to the shootout. You know, this is a little test for, uh, for us to get accustomed with one another, even though we've, we've been testing. But uh, I'm pretty happy. You know, I was, I was getting my suit on today, dude, all the media stuff, and I was like, I'm getting to put on a Roger Penske suit. So that's pretty cool. But the highlight of your year last year is you won the Winchester 400, right? Yes, it was, and uh, it's a big short track race that a lot of guys uh, go and run. So, and and you've run there, Kenny. So, it was it was pretty big. Okay, uh, go down to Burnsy's, see Kelly. Got a little drama here. Nah, nah. David, as she uh, opens the bottle there, uh, this is your first shootout. Your thoughts about making your first appearance? Well. Uh, I'm pretty excited, it, and I'm still excited. I mean, even with that number. We, we thought it was 02 for a minute, but no, it's 20th. It's, oh, I lost a little money to Kurt, so. But, uh, <laughs> we it, are at a bar. Uh, it's good. I mean, we got something to work on, and uh, it's a long race, so it'll be interesting. All right, best of luck, David. Next up, Chevy driver Casey Mears. This is a big year. Richard Childers asked you to drive the Jack Daniel Chevrolet and you and your engagement, you had, you had a baby. Tell us all about, you're not married quite yet, but uh, it, it's ahead to be a big winner. Yeah, no, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, you know, it's just it's great to be with RCR and driving the Jack Daniels car, and and uh, real happy. I'm engaged now to Trish, and and uh, got a beautiful baby, Samantha, now four months old, and just having a lot of fun, a lot of new things, and, and really looking forward to this year. All right, the police are not coming to pick you up. That is just police in the background. Yeah, they're going to pick Jimmy Spencer up. They said he's done something illegal. All right, what are we gonna do here, bub? We're at a bar, so just chill out. Look here, what, do like this. Just get a bar, do one of these deals, pick something up. Well, last time, last time I told somebody to choose something, they drew fifth, but you don't wanna to start too far up front. You can't get a run at them. All right, go down to Burns and Kelly. Casey, okay, so you had a good run in this race last year. Top 10 finish. Let's see where you start. Oh, nice draw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, uh, that's not what you're looking for, is it? No. But it'll be all right. Jeff's had some pretty good luck with this number, and uh, hopefully, we can grab, hopefully we can gather some of that. All right, Casey, best of luck. In the Budweiser shootout, the 31st running. Next driver to draw is Matt Kenseth from Ford. I 
I love calling you Matt the Brat because when you first started racing, you you were whooping up on everybody up in the north, and uh, you told me you had a cabin up there. Did you? What'd you do uh, up in the winter times? You go up there and hang out? I hung out a little bit, but that's when uh, back by the standards back then I was young and racing. But today's standards, I guess I would have been old. Okay, so now your strategy was you you said you're picking the bottle right in the middle here. What what went into that? Uh, doesn't matter where you start. So uh, last is still out there. We'll see if we can we can get it. But hopefully uh, we'll be at the front somewhere. All right, man. Go down to Bernsey and Kelly. Kelly, you're getting good at opening those bottles. Watch this. Watch this. Here we go. Bam. It's already done. All right, Matt. Let's see what you got. 25th. What? Oh, man. Hey. I told you I was going for last, but uh, the main thing I was thinking is how weird is it for me and Jeff Burton to be in a Bud shootout and Ryan Newman's not? That is weird. Good point. That is weird. <laughs> I'm just happy to be part of it. All right. Thank you, Matt. Let's take a look at how the drivers have picked to this point here in the Budweiser Shootout Selection Show. We've got some good numbers left, including first, second, third, and fourth in terms of starting positions. Stay with us here on Speed. We'll find out how all 28 drivers will start the 31st Budweiser Shootout. Kelly doing a nice job here under pressure. Watching the Budweiser Selection Shootout Show, presented by Budweiser. And you know, a moment ago, Matt Kenseth referenced the fact that Ryan Newman was not here because we have a new format in 2009. This race, since 1979, has been set by pole sitters from the previous year or previous champions of this race. This year, a new twist. The top six drivers from all four manufacturers are in the show, plus one wild card entrant from each manufacturer. Glad you're back with us here at Daytona International Speedway. Our next driver to draw is Toyota driver Kyle Busch. Okay, Kyle just said to me, where is it at? Well, I don't know, but I have to ask you something. You won a lot of races last year, and now you're back to win more. What's going to matter to you most, winning a lot of races or, or winning the championship? Uh, well, last year was sort of the winning season, so I guess it would uh, be nice to get a championship this year and knock the 48 off uh, what he's got going on there. So. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, he just said he's going to beat you. Hey, now this is great. He's busy drinking a nice cold Frosty Budweiser. Yeah. Jimmy's not paying attention very good, is he? <laughs> All right, so which one is it? I don't know. I really think this probably here be top 10. I need top, I need top five though. We've got, some, uh, we've got some side bets going on here. I'm just thinking this one, man. I'm nervous though. It's a lot of pressure. What are you gonna pick? Well, are you gonna pay my bet off if I pick that one that you're telling me to pick? How much is the bet and who are you betting? I can't tell you that, but it's with Denny Hamlin. Okay, no, I'm not. I'm not paying. Uh, you guys, last time I was with Denny Hamlin, we're at the Luxor, and he's playing roulette. And I know the kind of money he gambles. It's got to be 500 bucks or something like that. It's 500. I knew. No, I'm not involved in that. I'm not running Cup anymore. I'm a nationwide driver. Oh, you're nervous, aren't you? I'm nervous for you. All right, all right, do it. Pick a bottle. Nick it. Pick a, a Budweiser. Go on down. See Miss Kelly down there. You know. Here we go. Pop it top again. You do it. Oh, God. Go ahead. $500 riding on this. Oh, oh Denny won. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh that, that's good. Ten. All right. That's uh, a little bit further forward in mid-pack. So, uh, I don't owe any money. I'm good. Oh, hold on. Who won the bet? Denny did. Denny won the bet. Yeah, Denny won the bet, but the bet... See, he owed me beforehand, so... Oh, so you're even. So I'm even. I broke even. Okay. So I'm good. What do I owe you? <laughs> you owe me? <laughs> oh, David Stremmy money? Yeah, I did with Stremmy, too. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's been a good night for Kyle Bush. Let's see how his older brother, former champion Kurt Bush, fares. <laughs>
Okay, Kurt, last time I seen you and you were having a lot of fun was Loud New Hampshire. You won that race and you had that big old, uh, what was that, a big old lobster? And you didn't want to kill it. So what did you and your wife do with that big old lobster in Victory Lane? Well, we wanted to put it in the Boston Aquarium and they said they didn't want to take this crustacean lobster because he was 80 years old. So imagine being 80 years old sitting on the bottom of the ocean your whole life and then getting drug out. So we wanted to donate it, and uh, poor guy, he ended up passing away because he just was out of the water too much. Well, it's because it was a big victory lane and, and you know, a lot of heart palpitation. All right, buddy. Pick oh, wow. Look at this. He's already coming to see Kelly. Very decisive. <laughs> Kirk, you always run well here at Daytona. It doesn't matter what kind of a race. I, I like Daytona and Talladega. It's always fun, but, it, you know, this is just luck of the draw, and we'll see what we get. All right, well. We'll take it. That's a Penske number, and that puts me on the under. Now I'm, I'm even with Stremi on the over-under. So it's, it's a good starting spot. Um, we're just looking to get some laps and get some track time because track time's been limited this offseason. Hey, just heard uh, new car chief, Jeff Thousand. He was with Rusty Wallace. Rusty Wallace for a I long know time. Jeffrey. I, I like Jeffrey, and uh, we added another guy on our team. And between two guys, we added 30 years of experience. Uh, so I'm real hopeful for that when we go through uh, a tech inspection and when we get back to the race shop and they're able to make good decisions. Hopefully it comes from experienced guys. All right, Kurt, great to see you. This 2009 season is about to kick off. Glad you're with us here at Daytona International Speedway, the world's center of racing. Stay with us here on Speed. You're watching the Budweiser Shootout Selection Show. Budweiser Shootout Selection Show continues here on speed from the Daytona International Speedway under the Speed Tower, which you'll see at every single NASCAR Sprint Cup track. Let's reset who's drawn what to this point. We're about halfway through the 28 drivers who will make up the 31st running of the Budweiser Shootout. Look, first four spots still up for grabs. Steve Burns and Kenny Wallace. Glad to be with you on this chilly evening, but temperatures will warm up this weekend. No rain in the forecast. With that, it's time now for Chevy driver Jeff Burton. Hey, hey. Okay, Jeffrey, or Jeff, last time I seen you, I was in Columbus, Ohio, about three weeks ago for the Winter Nationals, quarter midget Winter Nationals. I thought I would be the only NASCAR driver up there. I was up there for Jags. And lo and behold, there you are with a full-fledged race team for your son, Harrison. And it's, it's, uh, it's much colder in Columbus than it is here tonight. So as cold as you think it is, it was a lot colder that day. But yeah, my son loves to race. Uh, my daughter shows horses. So we got a lot going on in my house, for sure. All right, buddy. Now, you know what? What is great about this is you never hardly get polls. And, and I didn't really understand because Matt Kent has said this is crazy because you're all worth Roush at one time. And Ryan Newman, the rocket man, is is not here. The, the two slow guys that mope around and qualify now in the Budweiser shootout. Is, is that what uh, Matt was saying? I, uh, I, I don't want to speak for Matt, but I would imagine if he's talking about being slow, I would be in that conversation. <laughs> now stop it. You're not slow, that's for sure. All right, buddy, where are we going? All right, going down to Burns and Kelly. All right, Jeff Burton, let's see what you got. Oh, what do we got here? I can't believe this. What is it? <laughs> I'm comfortable in the back. And uh, <laughs> this, uh, this is a, that's actually better than my average starting spot, so I'm pretty happy oh. tonight. That'll hey, work. that's a good number. Believe me, that's a good number right there. That's my birthday. <laughs> Next driver to draw from the Ford contingent, David Reagan. So we're hanging out at a bar and, you know, usually people talk racing, but I want to talk about your old cars, your old gas station, that old building you built. What, what do you got going on back there in North Carolina? You got some old cars and stuff? 
Yeah, I like the, the old American-made cars. I've got an old uh, Barney Fife police car, an old fire truck, uh, just some old neat stuff like that. And, and anything American-made, stuff that my grandfather worked on, you know, back in the 40s, 50s, or 60s, just, uh, you know, a place to hang out when I'm not at the racetrack. And plus, if you're driving for Jack Roush and you don't buy all American stuff, he'll whip your butt, won't he? Yeah, he doesn't like that, and, and that's a, a Reagan family thing. So we like American and, and certainly Fords. Okay, man, pick a nice, cold, frosty Budweiser. Go down to Kelly. See what you get. Well, David, this will be your first start in the shootout. Your thoughts about this race? It should be a lot of fun. Uh, we're excited to be here tonight and certainly excited to get some laps under our belt. Uh, I think we've got a, a great chance to to run well, uh, win the race would be awesome, so we'll see what we get here. Well, you ran well in the restrictor plate race tracks a year ago. Let's see where you start. I got the biff, so um, yeah, it's not too bad about mid-pack. We'll see how long it takes to work our way up. Thank you, David. Best of luck. Up next from Toyota, how about Brian Vickers? Hi, buddy. Well, what'd you do this winter? Man, I uh, didn't test. <laughs> hey, you know, having Red Bull as a sponsor, they like want you to do wild things. When was the last time you like dove out of an airplane? It's been great. Uh, I've made 10 jumps. Uh, Skydiving is my new hobby. Uh, just got back from Austria. Uh, oh, hold on. I, I was teasing. Are you serious? You're, you're jumping out of airplanes? Yeah, yeah, I love it. It's like my new hobby. I absolutely love it. I, I, we actually just got back from uh, Austria and did uh, flew upside down in a helicopter. That's kind of an experience. How much money you pay for disability insurance? <laughs> I'm just kidding, buddy. All right, pick your bottle here. All righty, go down and see that good looking girl down there. Oh, the cap flew off. Well, put it back on. Don't let her see that. We like, we like her doing that. Oh, oh good show. Good acting. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Number seven. Yeah, that, that number comes up a lot in my life, actually. I like it. I, I, got, I got to ask you, Brian, how does racing here at Daytona compare to jumping out of a perfectly good airplane? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Uh, I don't know. You know, in the middle, three wide of Daytona on old tires, I think it's, it's more risk than jumping out of an airplane. I agree. <laughs> I agree. You're fishtailing. You're like, am I going to spin out or not? Do you agree with that? <laughs> uh, definitely. <laughs> Talladega's worse. Yeah. You don't have any control when you're three wide, I can tell you that. All right, we'll take a break and come back with more of the Budweiser Shootout Selection Show from Daytona Beach, Florida, the Daytona International Speedway. Still some great numbers on the board for the 2009 Budweiser Shootout. The 31st running of this great all-star event at the Daytona International Speedway. Glad you're with us at home and look at the crowd here braving sub-40 temperatures here at Daytona International Speedway. All bundled up, but they're fired up for this 2009 Speed Weeks edition. Kicks off here at Daytona, the stock car courts anyways. All right, next up from the Dodge Camp, let's bring up Reed Sorensen. Okay, we have a lot of things happening right here. First of all, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Thanks. <laughs> so, uh, and you got two great things going for you. You got Richard Petty's number, 43, and you're wearing a, a McDonald's hat, your new sponsors too. Do they give you like a coupon book and can I get some for like some filet of fishes or anything like that? I'm working on that. I want to get a card where I can go there all the time, but I'll let you know and I'll, I'll definitely try to hook you up. How old are you? 23 today. You're 23 today? Happy birthday to you. You belong in the zoo. All right, now hold on. You see where, the, look here, you see these deals right here? Jamie McMurray and Carl Edwards, we, we marked these. They got a bet going. We got, look here, one here and, and 
Cal Bush told me to mark this one. We think those are the pole, and they got side bets going on. I just want you to know that, so go ahead. <laughs> a little bit of drama. I don't want you to ruin nothing. I'm just letting you know. You're going, he think that's the pole. All right, go down and see Kelly. Reed, by the way, uh, <clears throat> we should take this moment. It's also Daryl Walter's birthday today. He is not 23. How old is he? I'm not saying. Oh, come on. He's 78. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I'll Happy birthday. That. Thanks. I'll take that as a birthday present for today. It works. That's Earnhardt, man. That's number three. Hey, this, You're uh, going to win. AJ told me to pick this. So. Reed, you had a great speed week last year, if I, if I recall. Yeah, it was, uh, it was probably the most fun I had all year, so I enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully it's not the most fun I have all year this year. So it's, uh, it's a great way to have some fun and start out the year and get some practice. All right, happy birthday to you. Now from the Chevrolet camp, Jeff Gordon. Okay, I always said to all my friends that we won't talk much racing. I'm going to stay true to form. My wife loves your website because she gets to see pictures of your daughter. And how about that birthday party? The big old long table with all the nice glasses. You, you guys did it right for her. Well, yeah, we, well, we've always done an event out there because I have a lot of family uh, and some friends I went to school with uh, out in California. So we've always done something kind of cool out there. And, now her birthday falls on that weekend, so it's been turned into Ella's birthday party. But uh, I'm, I'm glad that your wife likes the website. We love sharing the pictures. She's growing and can't wait for her to get to uh, the racetrack uh, here this week. And she's talking away, and, man, it's, uh, it's pretty cool being a dad. And you know what else is cool, Jeff? Every driver I talk to talks about how they love life now, that they don't have to test all the time. So now usually on a Monday and Tuesday after the, the Budweiser shootout, teams they you know oh we're gonna go testing we're gonna get one up on everybody we're gonna show you we're gonna go to lakeland well they've knocked lakeland down and you are taking your daughter over to what disney world yeah we're gonna go over to disney world for a couple days and uh i can't wait can't wait to see her uh in in that environment so it's gonna be pretty cool i mean off season obviously meant the world to me having that much time off to be able to spend with them but i gotta admit i'm ready to get to the race track i'm ready to go racing and let me just say that Jeff Gordon, I know, is ready for vengeance. He's ready to win this year. All right, Jeff, go down and see Kelly and Steve. And Jeff, you're a, a two-time winner of this race, but I had to read this statistic like three times. This is your 16th consecutive shootout. I don't know how that happened, but that just means I'm old, doesn't it? No, it does not at all. Let's see what you got. <laughs> He'll get a big draft, man. Let's see, you and Harvick and Greg's back there. My whole table. Uh, <laughs> I'd change tables. Shit, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> all, all the Chevy guys are going to have to work together, it looks like. So uh, it's going to be an interesting race. This many, I, I can't remember you know, if it's ever had this many cars in it, but wow, uh, it's, it's going to be uh, a heck of a shootout. Yes, it will. Jeff Gordon won this race in 1994 and 1997, starting dead last for the 31st running of the Budweiser Shootout. There's a look. The only driver in the top four thus far, Reed Sorensen. Who's going to start from the pole? We'll find out coming up here on Speed. You're watching the Budweiser Shootout Selection Show, presented by Budweiser. Our next driver to select his starting position is from Ford, Jamie McMurray. Yo, Jamie, you have to come over here. You were talking with Jimmy John. It's, it's a bar atmosphere. I mean, you're a St. Louis boy. How many? Have you had bu any Budweisers lately? No, Kenny. I'm sponsored by Crown. I know that. I don't know how to come back to that. Tell me this. You, I said, what do you do all the time? I said, all you do is race and work out. And you said, no, I don't. I race go-karts all the time. I didn't know this. You've been racing everywhere with those go-karts? 
Yeah, I've kind of gotten back into that. Um, actually, Scott Speed and, and AJ and some of the other guys, um, we ran the PRI show this year. They had like a go-kart race uh, in, in the parking lot. So it, uh, it's been a lot of fun, and it's something that uh, they get to do with my dad. Um, we actually drove down here to, uh, to Daytona after Christmas, and uh, it's just a fun way to get to spend some time with him, and at the same time, go-karting is a lot of fun. So I've enjoyed it. All right, buddy, go down to Kelly. Oh, hold on. I I'm jumping the gun. Oh, 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 hold on. We got to make sure the cameras see this. We all think that we think that's the pole. Here we go. Now, Jamie, you had three straight top five finishes at the end of the year. Can the momentum continue here for the shootout? Well, I hope so. This is it's a lot of fun. It's uh, I really the I think everyone would agree that we wish that the 500 was only about 75 laps long. Um, it's it's fairly nerve wracking, but it's an exciting race. And when you don't get to be a part of this, you really, really want to, to get to be in it. So I look forward to it. Where are we going to start? Oh, not very good. 15. That hey, there's a one in it, though. <laughs> well, Jimmy's getting me back, I guess. Right. Cool. All right. Well, Jimmy McMurray is going to start 15th in the Budweiser shootout. Our fifth Toyota driver is David Rudiman. Okay, Rudy Rudiman, there's a lot of great things happening for you. Michael Walter announced that we have errands for the full year. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. Errands uh, is on for the full year, so that's uh, definitely a load off my uh, off my mind for sure. They've uh, stepped up their program, and I tell you, I can't be happier to have errands on board. And plus, I got my old number back. And this is your home state, your dad, the legendary Buzzy Rudiman over here at East Bay running the mod. I mean, how old is your dad now, and he's still winning? Uh, he's like 68, and uh, he's... Uh, in the process of spending a lot of my money right now because I'm a car owner, so uh, we have a good time, though. But that's the way it ought to be, man. You, you gotta, gotta pay your dad back. All right, which one? Which one? Well, I don't know. You gotta ask permission from Carl. Car well, Carl, you thought it was that one. So he, no, he thought it was this one. So we're all thinking it's, this is the one Kyle Bush says is the poll right here. I marked it. So if this is not it, Kyle says it's not, well, all right. I don't know, man. What are you thinking? I, man, I'm scared. I'd pick this one right. Well, that thing's lonely over here. Pick it. This is big. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> a, a lot of advice from your uh, competitors over here. Yeah, Carl's been a load of help here. Yeah, thanks, Carl. <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> Uh, well, at least we're in the race, right? You know, I mean, I, I, last year I was sitting at home on the couch watching everybody draw this, so I'm just happy to be here. Carl said it looked good from here, yeah. the bottle. <laughs> Anyways, we'll take a break. We still haven't found a pole sitter for the Budweiser shootout. Glad you're with us here on Speed as a 2009 season kicks off here in Daytona. <laughs> 19 drivers have drawn their starting position for the Budweiser shootout Saturday night here at Daytona. Positions one, two, and four still available. Reed Sorensen in the 43 car in position number three. Up next, making his selection out of the Dodge camp is Elliot Sadler. I love your brother, Hermie, because, you know, he's a Virginian, and he always says, Elliot. Hey, have you ever tried to straighten him out and tell him your name's Elliot? Uh, no, that's the way we talk in Virginia, so that's cool. I can understand it. You love those basset hounds, man. You love, you love hunting. Did you do any hunting over the winter? Yeah, we did some hunting. Uh, had a pretty good time. Uh, raised some more. Got about 75 dogs now. So uh, that's pretty cool. So uh, I love that part of it. And I got married. So I think Carl and I got married, both of us, this, week, this uh, winter. But uh, it was fun. Thoroughly enjoyed it. It was a great honeymoon. But looking forward to getting to racing. I can't wait to start tomorrow night. So your, your biggest catch ever was your wife. And where would you go on your honeymoon? Uh, we went out of the country for a little while. I had a little problem with my passport, and that was kind of interesting. But we finally made it, got it straight. I was a threat to Homeland Security for a little while, but we finally got it. <laughs> 
Finally got it straightened out and, and went out of the country and had fun for a couple of days, but uh, we're still on our honeymoon, right? You don't, yeah. Hey, I took my wife on our honeymoon, the July race. We got married like July 23rd, and here we came to Daytona. All right, buddy. Oh, he's very decisive. He grabbed that bottle with authority. Elliot, you, you've had success here in the dual races. You won two of those. How about the shootout? A uh, shootout, usually we wreck around the last two or three laps. So <laughs> you'll have that. You'll have that in this big time auto racing. Oh, oh I think it's a good number. The deuce. It's a good place to start. Good pick, AJ. AJ told me which one. To oh, pick. you had some advice. Some advice. So he picked third and second, so he must be keeping the pole for himself. But uh, that's a good way to start. Uh, love being a part of Budweiser shootouts, like Jamie said. It's a fun race. Um, uh, we love racing in it, and you can just kind of go all out. Just keep pushing until you get to the front and see what happens. We are looking forward to it. All right, our next driver, two-time winner of this event, the sixth driver from Chevrolet, Dale Earnhardt Jr. <laughs> Okay, Junior, it, first of all, race fans, he, he has already grabbed that bottle. But before you leave, I have to ask you, okay, your little bar, Whiskey River, behind your house, you got your bar, Whiskey River. Which one do you spend the most time at? <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. The one downtown is doing really good. It's doing way better than we anticipated, and uh, we're trying to look at other opportunities to maybe branch out a little bit. But um, I don't know. You know, that's, that thing's turned out a lot better than I thought it would. How many layers of clothes do you have on? I have a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, and a jacket. It, what do you think it is, about 29, 30 degrees here? It ain't as cold as it was in Missouri when we was hunting. We was in Missouri uh, in December. It was about nine, minus 12 when we got in the stands, <laughs> so this ain't cold. All right, buddy, thanks a lot. Try to go to win two in a row. We won last year's Bud Shootout. Did some hunting. You did some snowmobiling, too, in Colorado. Yeah, we went to Aspen. I've never been up there. And uh, I guess when you drive for Hendrick, you got to go to Aspen once. And it uh, seems like that's where Jeff and all of them go all the time. But uh, went and checked that out. And uh, sorry. And um, that was pretty fun. Let's we'll see what we got here. Defending champion of the shootout. Nice. Oh, I'll take it. That's not bad. All right. Whoa. Or is it six? Wait, yeah. There we go. All right. <laughs> is it six? No, no. It's nine. Hey, good luck Saturday night. Glad to see you back. Thank you. We'll take a break from the Daytona International Speedway. Still looking for a pole sitter for the 31st running of the Budweiser Shootout. Glad you're with us here on Speed. The Budweiser Shootout Selection Show is presented by Budweiser at the Daytona International Speedway. As Speed Weeks 2009 is underway. There's a look at our leaderboard. The pole position is still available, as is four, six, eight, 13. A lot of low numbers have been drawn early. Our next driver out of the Ford camp is Paul Menard. Okay, man, your first shootout. You got to be excited. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I mean, the the way the uh, the no testing policy works out, it's, it's basically a big test session for us. We can go out there, have some fun, no pressure, and uh, work on our car. And Menards is a really neat company. It's way up north, and they say northerners are supposed to be used to cold weather. Is it is this no big deal to you, or are you cold? I'm freezing. I'm freezing. It's uh. One thing you learn about growing up in the upper Midwest is you dress for it. I, uh, I definitely under, underdressed for tonight. And you raced on ice one time, right? You raced cars on ice? Yeah, a couple times, a couple times. And we were actually going to run one a few weeks ago, and uh, it just never worked out, but I uh, still like to get up there and, and do that. Okay, Paul, where are we at? Oh, it's down there. It was all lonely. Go on down to Steve. Don't shake it up. There's beer in there. <laughs> all right, Paul, first shootout and first race with Yates Racing. Yeah, it's exciting. I mean, we uh, the guys have been working hard over the uh, off season. We got, I think we're gonna have fast race cars. So uh, you know, last time we were at one of these play tracks, uh, Yates car sat on the pole. So look forward to Sunday. Let's see what we got. There's your pole. Oh, yes. 
<laughs> it was this now one over here. Pretty sporty for your first shootout. I had my eye on that last one for a long time, and uh, it worked out. I like it. All right, he's going to start from the pole position. Up next, from Toyota, Michael Waltrip. Hello, my friend. Hi, Kenny. I just want to thank you for letting me always drive your car. The last time we had a lot of fun together, I drove your car at Daytona, made it in the 500, and since then, you've become a pretty big time car owner. I mean, like, is your goal to be like Richard Childers? Um, I like that, dude. That'd be pretty cool. Right now, I just want to race my car in the shootout on night. I think that's a great opportunity for uh, the Napa Toyota to show off a little bit, and I love this place, and I can't wait to, uh, to see where I'm going to start. And you're a big time Toyota guy. Everybody's wanting to buy parts and cars from you now. So, uh, all right, where are we at, man? Come on, Mikey! What are you thinking? You're nervous. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, there he goes. Down to Kelly. He walks so slowly. Are you all jacked up on Mountain Dew? <laughs> this is this is huge. If this number says 13, then. Oh no! <laughs> Thanks to all of, all those people over there. So I'm gonna pull it out right now, Steve. No, don't do that. Not in public. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> <laughs> you right crazy here, man? As Kenny Wallace would say, right here on national TV. Well, America, America. Yeah, but hold on now. Here's our debate. He makes fun of me for saying national because, like, I'm from Arnold, Missouri, and. National means TV throughout the whole United States. And then they got little county TV. That's countywide TV. Hey, Steve. Hey, national, Michael. National means throughout the whole United States. Everywhere. In case you didn't realize that. Thank you. But Kenny will say, he'll get on that show with uh, those other dudes, and he'll say, I'm telling y'all right here on national TV. He says, America, listen to what I'm trying to tell you. And so I'll text, I'll text him, and I'll say, uh, Kenny, nowadays, every channel is national TV. And then Spence will say, yeah, yeah, wait, wait, Kenny, what's that guy's name over there, the crew chief for But Carl hold Edwards. on, but let me defend myself. You know what Schrader says all the time? He goes, Herman, I said, what, Schrader? He goes, I love you. And I'm like, why do you love me, Kenny? He says, because you make me feel so good about myself because you're so screwed up. <laughs> so see, I make you feel good. <laughs> what are you doing? It's not as bad as it could be, but it's bad. D.W., Daryl Waltrip. Yeah. Do, do you owe Denny money? Just, just fits, just, just, uh... So it didn't go so well for me, but, uh... <laughs> really enjoyed my time here, and, uh... Rudiman said that, uh, he has to leave because he has Jeff Gordon blocked in somewhere. Because <laughs> Jeff Gordon peeled out. So if, if, if we could excuse Rudiman, then uh, we can let this party continue. We understand. All right, next up, on Saturday night, he'll be driving a Dodge. It's Robbie Gordon. <laughs> okay, Robbie, I mean, you raced your butt off all winter long. You got your passports. You loaded the planes up. You went and run, what is it called, the car? Yeah, we ran the Dakar at um, Argentina and Chile, so we had a good run run over there, so it was good for us. Yeah, but that was just a start of it. You came back to Vegas, and you won. We've had a, we've had a pretty good year. I thought I was going to pull number one again, but um, my buddy Paul Menard got that, so uh, what's left, four? Uh, I don't know. It, it'll be a good starting spot because all the last ones are already, so you're, you're going to have to start up front and fend them off. One, two, three. Okay, so he's picking the fourth one from left. Here we go. And Robbie, he, Daytona has seems like you're always up front. We uh, at the we, end of the race, you're there. Last year, restrictor plate races, our worst finish was 11th. Uh, I think our average was sixth or seventh for the whole year. So um, I look forward to running a Dodge here. And one thing about it, I just don't care if it comes back. I like that. 13. 13. Hey, 13. That's a good number. It's unlucky. You can change that. 
So Paul Menard is going to start from the pole position. We still have some drivers yet to draw here. You're watching the Budweiser Shootout Selection Show from the Daytona International Speedway. Don't forget the trucks. They return to speed live from Daytona, February 13th, 7.30 Eastern, racing the way it ought to be. Just moments ago, Paul Menard had the lucky Budweiser bottle. He will start from the pole position Saturday night. Fourth position still up for grabs. Sixth, eighth also. We are counting down 28 drivers that will make up the Budweiser shootout. Well, next up, driving a Chevrolet, a three-time winner of this race, Tony Stewart. Okay, Smoke, so like every year you go up and you win an indoor race. What was the name of that race you won for like the third year in a row? Oh, it's like five years in a row. It was uh, Fort Wayne inside, but I had to spin my, one of my buddies out to win it this year. So Who'd you spin out? I spun my buddy Lou Ciccone out to win it. <laughs> Lou Ciccone, that sounds like an Italian. He's not going to get you, is he? No, but his family will. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, now, serious question. Well, not serious. We're not going to be serious. I mean, like... You're you're in there. You're in the shop. You're like owner Stuart Haas Racing, the new logo. I mean, how much of an effort is this during the winter time? It, the, my biggest effort's been just trying to get to the shop before noon. It's been the hardest thing for me. They, the one thing I learned real quick is that, uh, or they learned, is they don't let me touch anything but the checkbook. <laughs> so that's that's all they let me do is write checks all day long. Now, that's the way racing is. We know that everything costs a lot of money. All right, get yourself a nice cold frosty Budweiser. Okay, now. I have to announce this. Me and Tony were talking about a couple segments ago, and Tony said, mark that one. That's going to be a good one. The pole's gone, so who knows? All right, right there. What's that? It's just like going to the brick house and getting a beer. Yeah, I like that. Here, Tony. Take that. Throw that out to the crowd. That's a little souvenir. Don't hurt anybody, though. What? Don't, no, don't, no, don't fling it hard. <laughs> I'll just walk it down there. I think that's a good idea. All right, let's see where Tony Stewart's going to start. Looks like a single digit. Ooh, that's a good number. Six, I'll take it. Tony, you know, all kidding aside, it has to make you, or I would think you would be pretty proud to roll in here with your transporters and, and your team put together. Yeah, they rolled in at 7, though. I didn't roll out of bed till about 9.30, so it was, uh, it, it is pretty proud, though. I mean, we got to watch them uh, yesterday. We had our first team photo, and... Uh, Everybody at the organization stood outside in the snow, and we all took pictures. And uh, that was a pretty proud moment. It's been uh, it's been a lot of work, but it's been a lot of other people doing the majority of it. And uh, it's been impressive to to watch a whole group of guys coming from different organizations to come together and uh, get a lot done in a short amount of time. So, do you have your driver hat on now? Michael Waltrip just threw a bottle. We need security in here. It, it won't be the only thing so thrown up here before it's all done. So. <laughs> all right. Best of luck. Thanks very much, Tony. He's going to take that uh, key down. Up next from the Ford camp, it's Bobby Labonte. OK, one minute. You don't have a ride like the day before. And like a week later, you have two sponsors and you're driving for Yates. I mean, talk about a big time turnaround. Uh, yeah, it was. And uh, it's funny, we were, uh, we did our kitchen in our house. And the guy come by to uh, finish the plumbing out. And he said, uh, do you have a vacuum cleaner? And my wife said, yeah, it's over there. And he actually knows how to use it now. So uh, that was what I did in the off season. Uh, but I just remembered, I didn't remember a while ago, but uh, I, uh, I know it's not for pole winners like it has been, but I won my first pole in a Ford. So For Bill Davis. Yep, for Bill Davis. So I'm proud to be driving a Ford. All right, man. Well, this, hey, there, it's three. What are you going to do? Like the middle one? Oh, I don't know. Don't, oh, don't blame. Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh, he's got to grab the whole, the whole deal. You can't do that, Bobby. There's just beer in there. Of course, you can drink a beer later. All right, Kelly, help, help him out here. Bobby, this will be your 11th Budweiser shootout. Uh, yeah, uh, 
you know, like I said, I, I won my first pole in a Ford with Bill Davis, so uh, uh, done it a few times. It's uh, pretty cool. Last few years I haven't done it, so kind of had to watch on TV. I was used, I was at uh, I was at I was at uh, a bit at East Bay watching the dirt dirt race, and this this year I won't be. So, all right. Is there money on the straw? Must be. Dang it. What is it? Yeah. What is it? Eight. Five times two. All right. I like eight. I'll take it. Good place to start. Finish better. Have a great 2009. <laughs> Thanks, Bobby. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll see Scott Speed and A.J. Allmendinger as they find out where they will start in the 2009 Budweiser Shootout. Paul Menard starts from the pole. Pretty look at the Daytona International Speedway at night. Of course, Saturday night, you will see the Budweiser Shootout. Our final Toyota driver to draw is Scott Speed. Okay, Scott, I'm a little off-centered, but I think you are too, so I'm gonna go ahead and be brave enough to ask you this. Scott Speed. I mean, I grew up watching Speed Racer. Is that your real last name? I was born with it, didn't have a choice. <laughs> so you, you thought, okay, my name's Speed, I'm gonna go race. Actually, if my dad was really clever, he would've named me Max or something cool, but he came up with Scott. You, you, you know, like you went in the truck series right away last year and you won at Dover. I mean, you were kicking butt. What do you think of, of the cup series? I mean, you qualified really good at Homestead. You got a good taste of, of Sprint Cup. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a huge learning curve. I mean, it's great that we get this shootout here because it's going to be like a big practice before the 500. I mean, I'm just going to be out there kind of watch and see what everyone does. But, uh, yeah, it's a great opportunity. Let me just warn you something. The Bud shootout, they're crazy in that one. So don't drive the 500 like that. All right. It, what are you going to do? He's grabbing both of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> you want yours, buddy? Because this one's mine. <laughs> All right, Scott. I'm kind of surprised you said they're just crazy in the shootout. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I just wanted to know, don't start the Daytona 500. Like, I know what we, number it is. What is it, Scott? You know, I know it's got, look, Denny's won every single bet so far, and it's going to be four, for sure. All right, let's see. <laughs> My gosh. How, how much I, money? I tell you, I mean, you can't you bet against them. It's Denny Hamlin night. Yeah. Unbelievable. You have no idea how much money you won tonight. <laughs> he does that on the roulette wheel. He needs to be wheel. sharing the wealth. Actually, he owes me a $50 tip now, too. Thank you. All right. All right, our final driver from the Dodge Camp is A.J. Allmendinger. <laughs> Oh, we're on TV? Okay, sorry about that. No, not really. Okay, AJ, look. I mean, you did so good at the end of the year. I mean, this team, Gillette, they said, we can't let him go, we gotta have him race. Yeah, and then, you know, they thought it was so good, they brought in Richard Petty to, to work with me. So, no, it's, uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's, uh, it's cool. I'm, uh, I'm excited about the start of the season. Obviously, uh, we got the first eight, and, uh, you know, to have the whole Gillette family kind of back me and then have, uh, the king come aboard and merge with the team and uh you know it's uh, it's gonna be exciting so i'm really happy to be able to run the shootout and get a chance to uh to learn some of this restrictor play race and i don't have much of it my, my thought is is like you're gonna start the year out you're gonna be up there in the top 20 in the points and your, your team's like well we only got money for the first eight races they ain't gonna quit man if you're digging that's right you know if you're leading the championship they can't pull you out right that's right all right well now hold on hold on which one are you gonna pick is there any back there this is it there's a full bucket of beer back there good luck here we go hey Denny which one's this for a thousand dollars hey Stremmy was ready to peel off the cash you gotta pay him oh he owes you money I'm so nervous about what number I got I don't know what it is <laughs> please be the pole God what is it 18 Wow. Who thought that was coming? You're in the show, dude. That's good. That's good. Just You get uh, passing money, too, right? Passing you get points. You get 
Not, you, there's no points. You get bonus money for passing, right? Right. If you start 18th and you win, you get $100,000 more. Really? That no. give, give me a ninth race for the season. <laughs> How'd you guys like that? that? All I know is it pays 200 grand to win. Really? All right. Well, we're going for that so I can get the ninth race of the season. We're going to do that. All right, man. Good All luck. Right, sounds good. $1.2 million purse for the Budweiser shootout. We'll take a break from the Daytona International Speedway. Come back and wrap things up. Glad you're with us here on Speed. The Budweiser Shootout Selection Show is presented by Budweiser. Reach for the perfect balance of flavor and refreshment. The Great American Lager, brought to you in part by Toyota. For the latest on Toyota racing information, visit toyotaracing.com. Toyota, moving forward. Oh, look here, stay here, stay here, stay here. Let's take a look at the starting lineup. Paul Menard starts from the pole position in row one alongside Elliot Sadler, Kenny. Well, I'm going to tell you what, that looks like a young lineup. Those are some young Lions. Look here, Reed Sorensen, Robbie Gordon. It amazed me. Went to Dakar over in some other country and almost won. 28 drivers on Saturday night. You see that race on Fox. I didn't do so good. I'm in the back. Kevin Harvick, you're in row 14. That, that's Tony Stewart's number. Well, that's good. That means it's going to be a good night. We'll at least make it exciting, right? Absolutely. Now, Jimmy? Three championships in a row, and you're, look here, you're two rolls ahead of Kevin. What, what do you think? Um, I think the shootout's going to be exciting. I think we're all eager to get on the racetrack and, and uh, get back to work a little bit and see what our cars are doing. Uh, so I, I think the shootout's going to be very important for all the teams and, and really just excited to get out to the track, see the fans, and get back to work. Hey, what about you? Are you going to go get, are you going to drink responsibly tonight? Oh, we're going to party. Right? We're going to party. I guess that's it. What about you? How much money did you win tonight? I can't tell you, but oh, I won't. Oh, come on. IRS is not listening. Well, it's... Michael, how much money did he win? $400 for me and a couple of 300 off Scott. So this is a healthy man right now. Wow, $1,000, $1,100, something like that. All right, thanks for being with us here in Daytona. Paul Menard starts from the pole.